Okay, I'm getting ready to make my dinner. What I usually do when I get up in the morning, usually I'll goof around, make my coffee, blah, blah, all that good stuff. And then about 12 o'clock, I pull the old crock pot out. I'm gonna have chicken tonight, but I'll show you how I go about doing it. Usually I always have frozen chicken in my cooler in my car. Cause I'll buy, you know, a big chunk of meats like pork chops and hamburgers and chicken and freeze them and then keep them in the um, car in the, in the freezer. And then every evening or so, whatever I want to eat the next day, I pull out and just let, you know, put it out, let it thaw out just like you do at home. But the first thing I'm going to do, I've never tried this before. I'm going to try vegetable oil and spray in there and hopefully that'll keep it from not being such a hard cleanup because yeah sometimes it's kind of hard to get this pot, uh, pot clean so i'm gonna try this see if it works i don't want to spray too much because i me myself i really don't care for the taste of that stuff it just i don't know then we'll wipe it out with the towel real good here and i hope to put a little bit of coating on there don't know like i said first time i've ever tried it okay I like a lot of barbecue stuff, so I, you know, I, I barbecue everything. I just, I don't know, I like taste. I just get craft, you know, whatever flavor I want to get and get it. Sometimes what I'll do, I'll just uh, put a little bit in here first like this. As y'all can see, I'll let you, see, I just put it in there like that, and then I throw the chicken in there and I just move it around the fork okay I move it around the fork I just take it out see it's nice and thawed now because it's been sitting all night and I try not to get that water juice in there just the chicken so what I'll do I'll take my, my fork here and plug it on out it looks like good chicken breast don't it I always eat Purdue chicken because that's what I seem to like so I put it in there and I just smooth it around so the barbecue will get on both sides I punch a few holes in it like that see what I mean you know just do like that and put it back again put a little bit more barbecue sauce on it nice and coated now Take my fork, spread it out a little bit. Got a nice coating on the barbecue, on the chicken. Plug it in, cut the crock pot on, put the top on. Usually I put it on, on low. That's what I cook on. And um, there you go see if you want it on high that's high but I keep it on low and uh, sometimes I don't get up early enough or I you know forget to do it I cook it on high but most time I cook everything on low but there you go that's how I make my dinner and then all I gotta do is you know chicken will be done by about 5 5 30 because I'll I never eat after 6 o'clock and I'll cook me up some mashed potatoes or rice and some kind of greens and that's my dinner, so that's how I go about doing it when I'm on the road. Well, we're out and about today. Um, I believe this is what caters to the park, this place here. Apparently, it's an old mansion, old southern mansion, but we'll go check it out. And we're still at my old home, Kentucky State Park. But, yeah, let's go check it out see what we can find. I would say we found the stables right here, but... It's got a real pretty layout of the place, as you can see. I guess it's like the garden. They got church bells playing way over there, but I don't know where, but we'll just keep on walking until we figure out what we're looking at. But yeah, it's real nice so far. Well, you guess I could say I found the mansion, and I would say he had a sweet setup here. I have to get information on the house later, but I mean, look at his surroundings. Pretty nice, isn't it? I'm gonna go over here and sit in one of these chairs and relax for a little bit. Might let the little man down, let him run around. I guess that's a log cabin down there. We'll go down there and check that out too. Look at the view they would have. I'm sitting in a rocking chair and 
beautiful view, isn't it? Her glue, man. Sniffing, 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 but yeah. Really beautiful view, isn't it? The house is behind me. Old log cabin on the property. It goes up the stairs there. And there's a mansion up there on the hill. Hopefully the sun ain't washing it out, but pretty cool looking. Got a little man, he walking all over the place, but yeah, old cabin. Took some talent to build that stairway up there. You don't see that kind of work anymore. There goes little man going back to his carriage, I reckon. But yeah, let's move on along. There's a little bit of history on this place. I guess y'all can stop and read that if you like, but those are bells ringing in the background. Pretty cool. They've been ringing the whole time I've been here. Look at that sweet face. What can I say? He my little man. He loves his little stroll though. We just kind of like walking around seeing what we can check out, but go ahead down straight ahead next. There's a statue of Stephen Foster. He was a composer of the Kentucky State song, My Old Kentucky Home. Um, now I know why that bell's been ringing the whole time. I'm gonna go over there and check that out in a second, but look at this view. Isn't it pretty? Got some real nice trees blooming too, but yep, overall view. A little bit of history if y'all want to stop and read that. I just thought that was pretty cool. It gives you a whole lot of detail and history on the situation. This is a family, I guess this is family burial cemetery, but real pretty. Got roses all the way around it. Pretty nice. That's a whole lot of places you can sit and kick back and relax, but I found the gazebo. It says it was dedicated in 1923, so I don't know if that's original or, you know, I really don't know a whole lot about this place, but yeah, pretty cool. I just know the grounds are beautiful. This dude had a hell of a plantation. That's all I can say, but yeah. So really that wraps it up as far as here. I think what I'll do is go into town and see what I can find in town. Isn't that right, little man? You wanna go into town, see what we find? Say, yeah, daddy. Okay, so I'm gonna head into Brad's town and see what I can find in town. This is supposed to be the bourbon capital right here. So I, they got a lot of dispensaries, but I don't think I'll be buying any liquor I quit drinking, so. Yeah, that's a good thing, saving a lot of money, but let's go see what else we can find in this little town. Okay, we're in downtown Roundstown, so I guess it's a historical district, so I'm just going to check it out. It's a pretty warm day out here, so I'm kind of like burning up. I bet it's about 85 degrees out here, but anyway, let's go check out the town, see what we find. First thing I came across was this rat ride. I don't know exactly what it is, but it's... It's got a machine gun, and pretty cool looking. I don't know if it runs, but I, I guess it does because it's parked down downtown. So I guess it does. It's got screen on the tents. That's pretty cool looking, I will say that. I guess this is a place where you rent carriages and go around town in them, but I don't see anybody here, so I figured I'll check it out and see what it's all about. But yeah, whoa. There's a horse right there. Pretty sweet. That's a pretty horse too, but yeah, I guess you roam around town in it, but yeah, that's pretty sweet right there. Beautiful horse. There's a horse. There's where the driver sits, and then you sit right there. That'd be a pretty cool stroll. Looks like a pretty busy little town. Shopping mall and stuff like that, but buildings look pretty cool they're nice and old i will say that much but a lot of shops we're walking down this way straight ahead because i want to check out that building up there see what that's all about that that right there is what this town is known for i guess a whole state really but look at some of those buildings across the street there that's sweet but yeah 
Let's keep on getting up. Look at the designs in that building on those half round windows. I think they're pretty cool. We got all kind of little walkways between the buildings. I guess there's parking back there in the back, but that's pretty nice. We're standing in front of one of the oldest banks in Kentucky. Pretty cool. 1865. A good shot of the front doors, but yep, I would say they're ready for Memorial Weekend. <laughs> yeah, ready for Memorial Weekend all the way. Hopefully, y'all can see that. Welcome center right there, but I call it a major traffic jam up because it's in the middle of a circle. So anyway, there we go. Welcome center, Bradstown, Kentucky. Here comes old Rat Rod. He's driving, blaring music. barbershop signs but there you go that one's working actually too there's even a better shot of it turning in circles I found the town water fountain and the town clock but pretty cool huh established in 1780 There you go. I always try to find the clock in the little towns I go to because I don't know, maybe I'm hung up on clocks. I don't know, but there you go. Got a little bit of free library here too. That's a real good idea. It turns people on to reading. I think it's really cool. They also have a Civil War Museum here, which I've heard is pretty awesome, but due to the fact that I have Little Man, I just, he's in the car right now up AC running, but I guess this is like an old homestead, but over here you see the Civil War Museum, but yeah, I would have liked to have gone in there, but with little man, no can do, so back down the road we go. Okay, I found out what it is, that's what it is, old Bradstown Village. Pretty cool, isn't it? Not much of a town, but I guess back in the day that was a pretty good town. Look way over there, you can see the um, water wheel. I'll get a better shot of it here in a second. Hopefully, y'all can see it a little bit better there if you follow the creek down past that bridge. You see a little waterfall and then you see the water wheel. But sometimes I'm uh, I can't go places with little man, but I'd rather have little man and lose out on some things than not to have little man. But overall, I thought this was pretty cool. It's right in the middle of town, too. Well, we're back from running around the town. It was a cute little town, but let's check out the chicken, see how it's doing. Okay, we just got back from town, went into uh, Bradstown and checked it out. Pretty cool little town. I found, you know, quite a few things. I, I did find the town clock, and I, I found the Civil War Museum, and I also found the original village of um, Bradstown, which was pretty cool. But, yeah, back at camp, I'm going to give you all a real quick shot of the campground. I'm going to check on the chicken first, and I'm going to give y'all a, a, you know, a real good view of my campground, and then I'm going to call it quits on this video, and um, we are leaving here tomorrow and headed to Illinois, uh, I got some family up there, I'm going to camp in their yard for three or four days, get off the, the highway for the holidays, and then go keep on moving and just take it day by day, so let's check out the chicken. The top off, whoa, look at that. It even smells good. What can I say? What can I say? Put the top back on. This is why I like the countertop. Because as y'all can see. I'm charging everything in the world. My phone, GoPro batteries right there. And I got my coffee pot over there. And if I'm boondocking. I just use my 1200 solar power station. It does the same thing. But let's go check out the outside. Okay, as you can see, they're not real crowded. There comes old Stinky right there. Come on, little man. Come on, baby. 
and um, I do have a fire pit and I don't know why but the picnic table is way over there it's on a hill I don't know about that over here I do have my pedestal which wasn't too far away from the camper as you can see right there like that but there's my pedestal and I got a cord running because the 110 on my pedestal is out so I'm running off of that pedestal there because I mean I have to have electricity for the refrigerator in my car and there's my water there's the bathhouse I don't know I was expecting a little bit more out of this but there we go that's us running against the wind see y'all in the next video good day stay safe and we'll be getting out of here tomorrow